<laughs> he broke the <laughs> Hello everybody, Ofer Surf up here and welcome back to another episode of Jay Soulcraft. You might be noticing something uh quite weird. Um I'm here on a giant uh chunk uh of uh, nether quartz ore. Now um I have been uh caving well not really caving but uh just uh hunting for quartz in the nether for quite some time now and um i came out with nine stacks of another quartz ore which is uh a nice a nice amount now uh we need this because uh one i need quartz and two uh you never know what you're gonna run into in the future um so yeah i actually i actually died if you look at my deaths it's six over there now what happened is that when I was about done the pigmen started uh, chasing after me I don't know why I never really knew why I don't know why the pigmen were angry all of a sudden so I just stacked up a little bit so they won't get me to me uh, a good um, uh, quite a lot actually and uh, I was tabbed out and waiting for someone to oh I got poked and uh, waiting for someone uh, to give me the uh, nether spawn cords and um, a guest snuck around the corner and shot me off. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm low on FPS. Let's go with this. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm a little bit higher. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's weird. Because um, when I'm not recording, I get 2,000 or 3,000 FPS on uh, extreme render distance, 32 chunks. But when I do record, I, it suddenly drops down. Even if I'm playing like on two chunks, it drops down to 60, which is very strange. I don't know why. Uh, it's something uh, with my recording software settings for sure. Uh, anyways, so I'm going to do a quick time lapse across it. Uh, oh, and I managed to find my stuff in the nether. Turns out I was only 100 blocks away from the spawn portal, which I did not expect at all. I guess I sort of made my way back over there. So I'm going to do a quick time lapse of me uh, uh, mining this out, and I'll be right back. So, uh, it is gone as the grass slowly grows back. So, if you look at my inventory, it is full with nether quartz. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that time lapse because it took a little while to gather all of those quartz and stuff. So, what I actually want to do now is if you take a look at our levels. Wow, I said that a lot. Take a look, take a look. Um, so yeah, if you take a look at my levels, there it is again. Uh, we have 35 levels, so we're going to do a few enchantments. I want to try and enchant my sword, because it's not the best. And I want to see what I can get on a pickaxe, because uh, our fortune pickaxe is slowly fading away. So I want to see what I can get. Let's put this pickaxe back. Let's make, uh, let's just uh, take a um, sword. Uh, is there any sword, are there any swords over here? Unenchanted. Unenchanted swords. Doesn't look like, that's a quite good sword actually. Uh, doesn't look like it. Let's just make one real quick. There's three leather over there, which is, uh, leather is quite rare, uh, on the server recently. Don't really know why. Let's, uh, make a quick iron sword. And, uh, let's see what we can get on a sword. Hopefully it's sharpness four. Or, uh, looting will be okay. I do actually have looting sword, never mind. 
Um, Forest pick two. Uh, I don't want that. Let's see. What can we get on a pickaxe? Is there an unenchanted pickaxe here? It doesn't have to be stone. Can be even wood. No. Okay, let's put this over here for the other guys. Let's make a iron pickaxe. Uh, we don't really need to, um, uh, we don't need to worry about wasting the iron because iron is everywhere on the server. We have an iron form, which isn't very efficient, but Alon just made that until him and GT are going to make a proper, uh, one. I think it's Titanfall or, or like, not Titanfall, that's a game, what I'm talking about. It might be called that. I remember there's something in the name of Titan, something like that. Or the Iron Towers, which is a really good farm uh, design. So, yeah, let's see what we can get on a pickaxe. Fortune 3, that is amazing. Okay, let's enchant that. Is there lapis in here? No, there isn't. Wow, I put loads of lapis in there. I uh, wonder where I went. Yes, people have been using it. Uh, but I'm pretty sure there is some in the chest. Okay, let's make an iron pickaxe. Uh, not an iron pickaxe, sorry. A um, diamond pickaxe. Let's uh, get fortune three. Let's go get some lapis or rapis from um, uh, this house over here. Is there any? Yeah, there is plenty. All right, let's um, put the iron pickaxe over here for the community and uh, let's enchant this thing. One, two, three. Please be something more than for just fortune three. Uh, fortune three is fine, but more will be okay. Hey, don't touch me. So this is my technique. I throw it on the ground and take a nice loop around uh, the enchanted table. This is what I always do and it usually comes out good. And it is... Efficiency 4, Fortune 3. Yeah, just like my other Fortune 3 pickaxe. That is a good pickaxe. I'm happy with that. Someone breaking would be nice, but this is fine as well. Salon over there in the trading hall. Alright, so well, now we have two of these. Now let's see what we can get on the sword, because the enchantments have changed. Uh, let's uh, take a look. Uh, take the iron sword, and we can get... Ah, uh, still fire aspect 2. That's a bit of a shame. Let's enchant us a helmet. What can we get on a helmet? Let's check this real quick. What can we get on a helmet? Aqua Infinity. I don't really want that. Uh, what about here? Fire protection. No, thank you. What can we get on another chest plate? Protection 4. We already have protection for our breakthrough, so I'm not going to really bother with that. But anyways, uh, what we're going to do this episode, that was a... Uh, uh, it wasn't really an intro, that was a quite long introduction over there. What we're gonna do this episode is we're going to work a little bit uh, on the house. And uh, maybe next episode we're gonna scout out the area and see where our future base is going to be. So I will be right back. So I've enchanted the iron sword with a level 1 just before we're gonna go to, uh, work on the house. I've enchanted the sword with level 1. I got smile on a breaking one, which is uh, quite good for a level 1 enchant. So now we got new enchantments, so I, I saw we could get a breaking 3. So I'm just gonna go for it, because we I hopefully, hopefully there is respiration and aqua infinite on it. Um, uh, a protection would be also nice, and, and um, breaking work for sure will be. Okay, let's do the magic magic lucky charm actually today's friday the 13th so <laughs> uh maybe luck isn't uh, isn't with me today all right let's see what is it let's just put it on and protection for our breaking through that is a good helmet that is basic no respiration aqua infinity which is quite a shame but it's a really good helmet so now we have this protection for our breaking three and this protection for our breaking three this is protection three um, uh, so it's not the best. What can we get on our pants now? I wonder. I'm breaking three as well. I think I'm gonna go for it. Uh, this is, uh, it might be a big mistake because if you push, if you push too much, then it's gonna backfire at you, but I don't care. We don't have too many diamonds at the moment, so we're gonna have to go strip mining soon, or I, we, I shouldn't say we. Uh, I don't, I'm not gonna record it because it's quite boring. Uh, okay, come on, come on. What will it be? I'm breaking three. One, two, three. And uh, I have 28 levels. I completely forgot about that. That is a shame. So I guess I'm just going to use um, GT's uh, Wither Skeleton Farm. Yeah, not Wither Skeleton Farm, sorry. Uh, skeleton Farm over there. And uh, yeah, I will be right back. And level 30. <laughs> I only had to kill like four skeletons. Um, I had two runs. Uh, first time I didn't know, not to, uh, I didn't AFK long enough. And this time I AFK too long, so. What? What was that? Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> he broke the <laughs> So 
sorry for that interruption. So yeah, here we go. We are going to enchant our pants now. Um, breaking three. Going to do the cycle around the enchanting table. Hopefully it will be good. Here we go. And put them right on. Uh, let's take these off first. Put them right on. And what do we get? Projectile protected for our breaking three. That is good. I'm happy with that. Wow, my FPS is really that low because of this uh, because of this rain. Sorry about that. That is really good. Uh, now we have pretty beast armor, if you ask me. Uh, at least we have some projectile protection on our armor piece. We didn't have. We don't have it on anything else. But uh, yeah, we're gonna work a little bit on our house now. I'm back and I've done a few stuff. Can I get that? Sure can. Like that. Let's get that one and that one. So I noticed, why'd you, why'd you break, why'd you break the, um, the wall and, uh, put it back? Well, boom. Notice anything different? That's right, I extended it, because I was running out of storage, which it was expected, because I only had, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12 double chests. And, uh, now we have 24, which is absolutely amazing. So, um, yeah, so I've extended that. As you see, I did the exact same thing with this dividing. We're not gonna do this this episode. Uh, we're gonna do just a uh, little, uh, s small things around town. So, this is my quartz chest, as you can see. Like, a so. Uh, let's put the chiseled like that. Uh, I, I actually want to put a different, um, type of chest for quartz. And this will be mostly nether, like nether brick. And, uh stuff like that so we I did keep 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 what's kept I did keep a little bit of nether quartz for like to make comparators and uh, stuff like that stuff the other stuff you make out of uh, um, nether quartz I think repeaters and not written repeaters um, comparators it's actually the only thing that I could think of at the moment I'm sure there is more but I don't know of um, at least I don't remember of at the moment I still don't know what to put there um, I think probably not an ender chest can't open with a block above it because I remember one time Maybe it was a bug that I opened it with a block above it or was it just a half slab? I don't remember. I don't know what to put here I really don't maybe like a creeper head when I get it or a banner Well, I, I guess it's a banner it needs to be two blocks. So I don't know how to do that Maybe if we move this somehow, I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it um, let's uh, come up here real quick. So I'm gonna tell you a, a few plans I have for the future over here. Why am I? Why am I? Why am I so laggy? It's really strange, cause when I don't record, I get like 2,000 FPS. When when I do, I I just dropped it. Right now I'm at 33, 34. Like what? How's that even possible? Now, I'm just gonna have to tweak around with my uh, recording uh, settings. So sorry about that. Uh, hopefully it will get fixed fixed uh, soon. So, um, if you take a look at Alon's house, he's got guardian pets. How crazy is that? That is so funny. Look at that. He's got four guardian pets. That is hilarious. And I also do believe that Orc has an elder guardian pet. Uh, not their final spot. But yeah, it's still pretty cool. So, now I had plans to- my house is very small. Now, I had plans- I'm gonna move them to some other thing. Okay, okay. So I had plans to extend my house, and I think I already done it, I already did it on a creative world. And uh, extended, like just pretty much duplicated to over here, and then we're gonna have a, ch uh, a kitchen. Not to over there, to over here, to not interfere with the redstone. Well, I guess it won't really interfere. Well, yeah, it won't really interfere, but I just wanted to extend it that way a little bit. Because imagine, like, you walk through here, and then you have the trail, then you go, like, through here. And then only when you're, like, over here, you see Alon's modern house, which will be kind of cool. And then we're going to have a garden over here. I asked Alon to move the, the these beacons a little bit backwards, a little bit back, so we can have space. I'm going to have to uh, test some stuff for the garden in, uh, in the creative world. So yeah, we're gonna have it up to here. I'm planning to have like a little, a little, uh, little like uh, how's the how do you call it? A, uh, a hill with a little waterfall and a little lake, tiny lake going down. It's gonna be a very small garden. We're not gonna do that this episode. This episode, we're going to do very small stuff, as I said a second ago. So um, I will be right back. This lake is infested. Do you see it? Hold on. Look closely. Look closely at the lake. Do you see anything unusual? Did you see it yet? 
bang. A guardian. Alon brought over a guardian over here, and guess what it's named? It's named Dib. Ah, that's beautiful. He cleared out, he blocked off uh, the exit way to the uh, rest of the swamp so he can't escape. He's gonna make this dam look pretty. But isn't that amazing? We have our own uh, Dib the Guardian. <laughs> guardian of spawn, <laughs> so the spawn lake thingy. Which is absolutely amazing. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> that's all that's gonna be on this episode. I know I said I'm going, we're going to do some small stuff around the area, but um, I already noticed it's been 20 minutes and I don't want to go above 22 minutes and max in my episodes. Maybe sometimes, but uh, I try to keep it 20 minutes uh, solid. And um, yeah, so what do we did today? Um, we um, got lots of nether quartz, so we did that cool time lapse, we enchanted, we uh, saw how me and uh, James got pummeled by <laughs> by a uh, skeleton machine gun but yeah hopefully that's gonna you hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode and i will see you next time bye bye